A quick video where I'll use a Nano VNA to check that an antenna is tuned up correctly. You might find that handy if you want to tune up an antenna without putting out a signal on the air. Right now I've got a G5 RV antenna set up. Unless you've got open wire feed line going all the way into the shack with a balanced antenna coupler, it's not going to be a good performer on 10 megahertz. What I'm interested just for today is the use of an antenna coupler here. It's a homebrew Pi Network design. And when I apply carrier, you can see the VSWR indicator is reading nothing. If I adjust the inductor and the capacitors, then the indicated VSWR goes up. With it set up so there's no reflected power indicated, at least according to this relative reading, you're right to go and transmit on the air. I'll remove the antenna connection from the transceiver and put it onto this Nano VNA and we'll see what readings we get. I've set the start and end frequency to 3 to 15 megahertz. If you look at this, there's a dip in the 10 megahertz band. What I'll now do, because the resolution isn't very good, I'll set a narrow range, let's say 9.5 to 10.5 megahertz, and see if we can get a better view. Because the refresh rate of this is quite slow, you're still probably better off tuning for maximum noise on receive before connecting this. Now we're set up on 18 megahertz. I've adjusted the antenna coupler so there's a pronounced peak in noise. But I won't transmit to test. I'll again connect the analyzer and see if I can adjust it on that and then connect it to the transmitter and hopefully get a reasonable reading of no reflected power even without doing a test beforehand. This is set to 17 to 19 megahertz and you can see a slight dip just above 18. We want to make that dip a little bit steeper. I've reduced the inductance and twiddled the variable capacitors and this is what it looks like. A very pronounced dip in the amateur band. Next test is to put it on the transceiver, transmit, there's no reflective power indicated. I'll just adjust the antenna coupler and as you can see the reflected power goes up greatly. So we are tuned up on 17 meters without having to apply a carrier. I haven't gone into a lot of detail, but I hope this video is of interest and shows yet another use of the Nano VNA. That is adjusting antenna couplers without having to radiate a signal.